All right. So I'd like to show you how I try to optimize uh, the images that I put on websites. So I've been working on this website um, for a couple of days, and I've been using these stock images um, just to fill the space so I can see what it looks like with an image on the, on the page. But um, obviously, we're not going to be using these images. We've got these three. We're actually going to be using some that I've been provided by someone else. Um, and so that's one, two, and three. And the, uh, the issue with these images is that they're each about two megabytes, which means that um, if the user were to load this page just to see all of this, they'd need to download six megabytes of images, which is going to make the page slow and the user experience kind of crappy. And they're also a little, like, just big. I mean, this is thousands of pixels wide, and there's a lot of space around here that we potentially don't want to use. So I'm just going to show you how I take these images that have just been given to me by someone and turn them into something that I can put on the website. So we'll start with this um, kind of hero image here. So I'm um, looking at this on my desktop and on a smaller laptop screen and in a uh, sort of simulated iPhone, you can get a sense that the image about the sort of proportions and aspect ratio of the image. Um, it's kind of either square or a little bit rectangular. Um, and so the first thing I'll do is just crop it so that a square or rectangular view shows most of the image. And so to do that, I'm going to use this uh, Photopia, which is just a, it's like Photoshop, except it's a web page. So you can just go to photopia.com and then uh, drag and drop your image. And so I want to get this, um, ooh, why did I, in? I want to get this uh, roughly square. So I'm going to use the crop tool and maybe crop it like that to get most of the interesting stuff in. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. So I'll crop it and then I will um, resize it because you'll see that this image is 5,000 pixels wide. But on the web page, uh, if you look here, for example, the actual picture that we want to show is going to be 600 pixels wide. And so that's loading about 10 times more pixels than we need. And so just to be conservative, I might make it I don't know, 800 pixels wide. Let's do 900. Let's go crazy. So I'm going to change the size to 900 pixels. And then I'm going to export it as a JPEG. Um, so I find that Photopia's image compression is like not that good, so I'm going to export it at 100% quality and use a different app to make it smaller. Right. And so I'm then going to take my downloaded uh, cropped version, which if we look at it is now... Um, so if we look at that in its folder, which is the downloads folder, um, it's now 400 kilobytes, which is a bit better. But we want this to be even smaller. We want this to be like 128 kilobytes if we can. So there's just this compressed JPEG site, which is pretty good. You should just Google compressed JPEG. It'll, uh, it'll come up. And uh, yeah, I find it tends to do a little better in Photopia in terms of getting a good final size. So there we go. We've got it now down to 78 kilobytes. So that's what... Uh, 78 on 242, so that's 4% uh, of its original size. And then I will put this into my Django static files folder and call it uh, as hero and swap it out. Image of, where is this? Uh, web image repairs. And then we can uh, just preview what it looks like. Cool. Um, 
Yeah, there we go. So that is um, how you do it. And you can just check to um, see that it all looks good. And so I'm just going to repeat this for these other images now. But that is the process you upload it to Photopia, resize it, crop it, compress it here, and then save it. And so that's the video. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to do this again for these other two images, just so you can see the process repeated over and over if you care to watch. But that's basically the whole process. Uh, so let's do this one now. Um, I believe this is this image of like beautiful young people having coffee. Um, so let's start off with getting it into Photopia. And then I'm going to resize it. Actually, we'll start with a crop. So what shape does this need to be? Uh, it could be pretty long. So we want to make sure it has the capacity to zoom in sort of a, a wide image. And looking at it now, it seems fine. So I'm not going to crop it. Um, and then looking at whoop, looking at this, how big is this? Oops, so the, this thing is you know, around a thousand pixels wide. So I'll make it twelve hundred pixels wide, just in case. It seems reasonable. So I'm going to resize this thing to be twelve hundred pixels wide. Okay, I'm going to export as a JPEG, top quality, let's go to this thing, get it to compress a bit. Download. And you know, you can argue with people about like what the um, sort of like perfect image size is for something this large. Um, let's call this copy people. But uh, I think if it's less than 200 kilobytes, that's okay. Let's call it copy and swap this over to the copy image. And just give it a look at on the different screen sizes. Hmm. Interesting. So you can see the different image sizes kind of screwed up the uh, my CSS basically. I'll ignore that for now just because I don't think it's super relevant, but that's something I'll have to fix later. And finally, looking at this image, we'll just repeat the process. So we'll go for, I think is this one, this mom and her kid. And we'll just repeat the same process of we'll crop it. So the mum and the kid are on the right-hand side. And I think that's okay. I'll just stick over here. Seems fine to me. So. Um, so don't really need to crop it. Let's do a resize down to say 100 pixels again. at 100 kilobytes, still looks pretty decent. And we'll just call this mum. And there we go. Once again, it seems to have <laughs> really messed with uh, this sort of intermediate view. 
and I'll need to fix up the CSS, but uh, it otherwise looks fine. So I'm happy with this. I just need to go and figure out what I did wrong. And that's it. And so now um, we were going to download a total of, um, what was it, six megabytes of images. Now if you look at this, if we get this a reload, we can see that um, we downloaded, oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a meg-ish, 300 kilobytes of uh, images, which is, I think, 20 times less data. So you can imagine this is like a little faster now. And that's it. That's the video. Um, hope you found this helpful.